Before I get started with the highlights, I want to introduce you to someone. Number 59 is Michael Lamb. He's a junior with two prosthetic legs and no left hand, and he's playing football. I had to give him some love because that is remarkable. Number three, Newcastle at number two, Bighorn. First quarter, Bighorn wearing the maroon. This is the first play from scrimmage. Connor McCafferty throwing the long bomb, and he hits the bullseye. Christian Mayer has two defenders beat, and he's gone for 71 yards. Like I said, first play from scrimmage, and that was a sign of things to come. PAT blocks, so the score is 6 0. On the next possession, it took four plays, and the Rams strike again. McCafferty with the fake, and he'll go right through Newcastle's defense like a hot knife through butter. 40 yards to the house. The Dogies had the second best rush defense in Class 2A coming into this game. Not sure what happened on that play. The score is now 13 zip. On the next possession, this is number three. The home team got the camera for a moment. McCafferty still has the ball. He's looking for Mayer again. And check out the moves after the catch by the sophomore. That's how you take out three pursuers. And by the time Newcastle was able to recover, it was too late. 60 yards on that play. The Rams were making an early statement, leading 20 to nothing. On the next possession, this is number four, and we're still in the first quarter. McCafferty steps up in the pocket, looking to go deep again, and this time it's Lucas Wollenman with the reception. 43 yards to pay dirt. Wollenman was limping after the play, but he was all right. The scoreboard read 27 to zip after the first 12 minutes finally ended. Second quarter, here comes more. McCafferty did this almost all game long and made it look easy. He's got Mayer on the run and finds him again. No touchdown this time, but a 47-yard pickup into the red zone. The visiting team just had a very long and very bad day, and the game's not even halfway done. A few plays later, this was actually one of the shorter plays in terms of yardage. McCafferty rolls out to his right. This time he'll get Will Odell in on the act for a two-yard score. This huge matchup of undefeated teams was turning into a huge bust. It's now 34 to nothing. The Rams would score on six of their first seven possessions. And guess what's going to happen here? Odell makes a few guys miss, and he's got 67 yards of open field ahead of him. The home team had 450 yards of total offense in the first half compared to the Dogies' 85. Can we say lopsided? Now you know why the score was 41 to zip going into the locker room. Third quarter, Newcastle was desperate. So much, in fact, they tried to take a page out of their opponent's playbook. One problem, Wollaman was ready for it. He'd get the interception, but for once, Bighorn could not do anything with it and had to give the ball back. We're really trying to show something good for the opposition, but they kept shooting themselves in the foot. That was not the first time they had a bad snap like that. Wollaman is in on the play again, and he'll recover the fumble, and Bighorn's offense was more than happy to get back to work. Okay, now here's something good for the Dogies. McCafferty tries to take off, but this time, Merrick Crabtree and Ty Borgiali drag him down for the sack. The visitors were way overdue for a break to go their way, and they finally got it. But the drive would continue, and even though this play was awesome, it ended up counting for nothing. Mayer takes the reverse. Off camera, someone was holding. There's the flag. No touchdown, but like I said, this play was fun to watch, even though it did not count. 10 yards from the spot of the foul, and on the next play, the home team just tried something else, minus the holding. Odell will check in again, this time from 28 yards on the ground. The mercy rule is now in effect. The touchdown gave his team 48 points compared to zero for the opposition, and we're still not done. To summarize in one word what went wrong for Newcastle, everything. Crabtree is under pressure. He'll get rid of the ball, but he overshoots the target. McCafferty has himself an interception. He's got some room on the far side, but at this point, you just play it safe instead of sorry, as he will casually take himself out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Sadly, the clock could not go fast enough, so another score was inevitable. It took a few plays, but Scott Passini will bust through for a two-yard touchdown of his own. After that, the home team said that was enough. It was 55 to zip going into the final 12 minutes. Fourth quarter, the visitors were just trying to avoid the shutout even if it meant scoring against the JV players. Danny McMahon dives in for a four-yard score, but Bighorn had this one in the bag a long time ago. The Rams win the 2A East, take the number one seed into the playoffs, and remain undefeated, winning 55-6.